hello you guys welcome back to another video and if you're just new just welcome how are you in today's video we're going to be doing a very fun antique kind of vintage thrift haul and if you're also new we do all kinds of motherhood lifestyle well, i shouldn't say lots of motherhood content it's kind of like dwindled down over the last couple years so let's just say i do thrifting lifestyle homemaking content and a little bit of motherhood stuff a lot of baking and cooking from scratch very passionate about those things but a huge passion of mine is definitely thrifting i will say that very much so and yeah so let's go ahead and let's get into this video i found lots of good finds i love to thrift for many different reasons it is really good for the earth of course good for your wallet you get to save those coins you find a really really amazing deals really low prices at the thrift store and also we can't forget about the thrifters high i love to thrift and find good finds it's all about the hunt for me you can thrift online you don't have to go to the thrift store i know it can be overwhelming for a lot of people but me i quite enjoy the hunt of going and never knowing exactly what you're going to find my kids are in the other room you will definitely hear them they live here hello you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store and i love that something about that whole mysterious what will i find is it going to be something i needed or wanted on my list i always have like things in mind that i keep in my noggin for when i'm thrifting like quilts um i don't know baskets just things that i always keep in mind good clothing pieces um what else like what are some other really good things that i keep in mind like candle holders antique candle holders things that i know i'm really going to use and cherish throughout the years kid wooden toys like i always have this list this ever going list in my head of thrift items so it's not anything super specific that i'm always looking for i kind of just go there and see what speaks to me and see what i like what i can find purpose for i like to keep things kind of minimal in my house i still have things but i like everything to have a purpose and a reason for being in my home so with that being said let's go ahead and let's just jump into this video all right so i don't have any specific order to if you are new here i kind of just like do whatever i want and just go in whatever order that i see fit and whatever i grab first so let's just go ahead and let's get into it this has got to be one of my favorite items though so i guess we're starting out really strong with this picnic basket you guys like i cannot this this makes me so happy like how gorgeous is this antique picnic basket at least vintage antique is usually over 100 years old and vintage is less than 100 so i'd probably say this is vintage not antique but definitely old and we're here for old anything old we love her a woven wood basket but it has the name up here which is cool i heard this lady this older lady asking in the store what the name of these baskets were oh it's literally called woven wood by jury will trademark it's so pretty and the detailing is gorgeous and i only paid 15 dollars for it so that was really really nice at my local thrift store this store that i go to has a lot of antiques though and vintage for really good price now the reason why i got this is my other rattan basket is quite falling apart and has taken lots of love over the last few i want to say last few years that i've had it and rattan is unfortunately not that durable so i scored such a good find because we really do love to do a lot of picnics in the spring and the summertime at the park or whatever so i thought this would be just really really fun to grab and i couldn't believe it was only 15.99 like hello you're coming home with me <laughs> grabbed her so cute okay so now we're just gonna go straight into this really nice bag that they gave me this is a california super supreme almond california they gave me this bag you guys it's so nice and i will be reusing this for farmer farmer's market or grocery shopping or whatever it's so nice and she's definitely heavy and filled with a lot of good things they're really nice to give that to us so i'm just going to start out with this pan because why not we have been using this rusty old dollar store nothing wrong with the dollar store dollar store has saved my life so many times and we used to frequent okay we shop there still almost every day okay i'm not even gonna lie we shop there very often for the littlest for the littlest of things and i just thought it was time to finally retire that pan we've had for three years from the dollar store hey that's pretty good though it held up it has had a whole life three years in my oven 
making food for my family. I always put like parchment paper or something on top though because it's kind of crusty if I were to show you what this pan looks like. She looks like she's 100 years old, okay? But she's not, she's three years old. So if that doesn't tell you, it's just time to replace it. But it has been tried and true and I just thought it was a little funny story. But anyways, however, it's time to replace that pan. $5.99 is what I paid for this. So it is worn, but again, you know, I'm all here for the worn and it's nice and sturdy and it was pretty affordable, $5 and it's a nice size pan. I'm kicking myself that I actually didn't get two because you can do a lot of things with having two pans. So I will probably go back and get another one whenever I am there, but not bad, $5.99, definitely a necessity because it was just time to retire old crusty pan, okay? Just time. Another thing that I got, this was $21.99. This is a really nice cast iron pot. So you can see thick, nice, thick, deep. He is very deep. Pot. And I actually don't own one of these. So when I saw $21.99, I was like, that's not bad. It has some like kind of wear here. I don't even know if that's rust. Is that rust? It doesn't look super orangey, but it might be or it just might be wear. I'm not even sure. But it needs a good cleaning and probably a really good seasoning. So I will be doing that, of course, before we use it. But I'm so excited for this cast iron. If you don't know, cast iron is one of the best, most durable pans to cook in. If you buy yourself some cast iron pans, I promise you, they will be with you probably till the day you pass on and you can pass it to your family members. That's how well cast iron holds up. So I am um, all of the pans that I own, cast iron is something that I will always choose to be number one before even my always pans and always pot or the perfect pot, whatever it's called. These are definitely my tried and true for many reasons. Like I said, they're so durable and um, cooking with cast iron is good because you get iron, iron from your pan. However, you don't wanna have an overabundance of iron. So I don't only cook with it. I also use my always pan and perfect pot too but I love my cast iron and I have three three pans but I don't have like a pot situation and I do have a Dutch oven too that is really nice so we definitely got that and I'm really happy and excited for those finds okay <laughs> I got a hammer listen my hammer we have mini hammers and they always go missing or they're in the in the shed that we have or the little storage so I just want one that's just in my house and I can use it wherever whenever I need to and it's not super heavy either and it's cute so I went ahead and got it and it was pretty affordable it was like four dollars three dollars so not bad you know a girl needs to get to work and put more holes in my wall and I probably won't be getting my deposit back but you know hey renters life Unless I patch all these holes, which I probably won't do. Anyways, but I wanted to get a hammer that could just be accessible in the house. It's not too big, it's not too heavy, and I can store it easy. So I got a hammer, which I know is like random, but you never know when you need a hammer. And then this was $5.99. Now, this is more of bringing my dreams into a reality. I really, if you guys are new, I really want to have my own garden, grow my own food, do the whole homestead life. But we live in a really tiny, like six, 700 foot place, little kind of apartment living situation. And we just don't have room for that. But we do have a lot of plants um, that we have on our deck and stuff like that so I can use it for that but I really hope to have my own garden one day that is a huge dream of mine to grow our own food and wildflowers and things like that so this was really cute and I thought it will come in handy not only around here but in the future God willing if he lets me have my own garden I would absolutely love to do all of the agriculture growing things so $5.99. Okay, so here are some canning tools. So this is meant for canning, I believe, when you pull the mason jars out of the water and it's all hot and boiling and you just preserved your beautiful jam or whatever you put in there, you use these. And I just thought the color was stunning. Of course, you guys know I love my neutrals. It's a nice little cream beige and these are antique little canning tools so I have done a little canning in the past I don't even know if I've ever filmed it but 
this will be a really good tool to use for that i don't have like a pressure canner or anything like that i just have done some water bath canning just to preserve whatever i make way longer so i thought these tools were great and these were only i think a dollar something so okay so my little bag is empty and i'm definitely going to be using this because it's such a nice bag i can't believe they just gave this to me for free and we're like here you go i'm gonna put your stuff in here and i'm like oh Wow, I just stepped in a puddle of water. My kids are always leaving puddles of water on my floor. Like, it's always a surprise when I step into it. And it shouldn't be at this point because my floor is always wet. <laughs> $2.99 was this beautiful little spatula. I already own one spatula, but it's kind of flimsy. And I just thought it was time to have, like, something heavy duty. And this one is really nice. And it has, like, this nice lacquer on the wood. So I got that. $2.99, not bad. And I wish you guys could feel how heavy how heavy this thing is because it is heavy like this means business okay like it is not bendy at all so this would be perfect for all my baking and stuff like that so this is very serious spatula and I needed it I also got another ladle I do have a few wooden ladles where it's all wooden but nothing that's actually circular and deep that's really good for soup and I've been looking for one for a while and this was 99 cents so can't beat that got that and the handles really cute nice little antique ladle so I got that for all of our soups and stuff like that all right um, another random item that I just pulled out is this beautiful sweater vest I know summer is approaching quickly spring and summer is like here but I thought that this would be great for next year because obviously it's going to roll around again. And I just, I love this. I have a vest that's a little bit of a warmer color and I thought this was really nice. This was a really nice brown color. It's like a taupey, kind of like almond-y, cooler toned one. So very excited and I wish you guys could feel the quality of this. Oh, it is so thick. The knitting is so beautiful and it's very heavy so it's way better quality than my other one I think my other one I got off of Amazon and I had been looking for one in the thrift store for so long and never found one I found one once and then passed on it and then kicked myself for weeks for not getting it and this time I wasn't gonna have that happen so I got it and this was I love when they have the prices on there $5.29 so not bad for this really nice heavy it's not bad at all. Really heavy sweater vest. Gorgeous. We are going to be wearing that a lot next year because it is starting to heat up. So I'll probably wear it like once or twice before it's full on sweat season. Not sweats as in like wearing like, you know, comfortable lounge sweats. I mean like sweating like a pig's season. I got a lot of kids clothes but I'm gonna save that for my video where I talk about kids clothes because otherwise this video would be like an hour long and editing me just doesn't have time for that. But we're gonna skip past all the wonderful kid clothes that I found. Oh, but they did wrap some of my cups in here so I might as well show you that before I break those. We don't want that. So this was 125 All of the cups were 125 this is actually like a mug slash pouring cup, which I thought was interesting, and it's beautiful. Beautiful. It has like the little wheat kind of pattern in it. I think it's made out of like that wheat material and a beautiful amber orangey ring. So I'm so excited for this to pour and drink my coffee out of. And then I also got, if you guys are new here, I love mugs and that is something that we break around here a lot, sadly, and we use all the time because we're huge coffee people and tea people. So this says mocha espresso coffee, mocha espresso cappuccino and all of that. So also if you're new here, I love me some espresso, really any kind of coffee I'm really here for, except for just drinking it black. I am not that kind of person. I can't drink it black. But I love me some coffee. So at first, these were a set and they came in like a set of 10. And then when I went back the week later, they had divided the set and you could buy them individually because I recently was trying to buy them and they were like, no, you need the whole set. And I was like, no, I don't want all of those. OK, I just want one, just one because I don't have room for all of those cups. And then I was happy when they divided the set and let me just buy the one for 125 because they had a whole set. And I'm like, we don't need that. 
Ah, uh, another cup. Yes. So this one was 125 as well. And this one is really, really pretty. And it has like the speckles on the inside. Oh, so pretty. These are the perfect size for espresso because you don't need a huge cup unless you want a lot of milk, which I'm not really huge into well i don't know it just depends like what i'm feeling sometimes i want more milk than other days so these are good for that espresso size all right so another kitchen utensil which i found was really necessary was this stainless steel kitchen knife which is really nice it has like uh, thank the lord for these little tapes they put on there because i was digging through there and i would have got stabbed but this one is really nice and we're always looking on the hunt for new knives we're not the type of people that go out and buy like a whole set so we're kind of just like that. This was $141 and you get really good deals at the dollar store and you can sharpen them yourself if you want to. So um, yeah, I recommend sharpening your own knives and finding them at the thrift store because they are way more affordable than buying some fancy knife set like my parents used to do that kind of stuff. But this is just easier, cheaper and way more sustainable. So I do that. And my knives are usually pretty good. Okay, so I got this nice self-sealing mason jar i don't know about it being self-sealing i've never experienced that before but it's a really nice mason jar you could tell it's oh maybe it is self-sealing look at that that seal was pretty good Ooh, definitely needs to be washed out for sure it smells like some kind of chemicals over in there 349 was the price which is kind of pricey for this mason jar but maybe not I don't know but it's really nice and I always need bigger mason jars and I don't like to buy them from the store because this would have probably cost around 11 to 10 dollars at least for the big one so this is a really good deal only 349 I guess I have seen them cheaper in the thrift stores but not bad and I love the gold I love the gold top too like that was a huge seller that bronzy old old top I love that Okay, so for some more really fun items, I love Crocs, and these were $5 or 50 cents. Were they really 50? No, oh, okay, here it is, $3.93 for each of these. So not bad. They I, Okay, I broke one in the store. I will admit it to you guys right now. I broke one, and it was the bigger one. I wanted it too, but I have a habit of breaking things when I go into the store. I'm not even going to lie. I've done it at World Market. I've done it at the thrift store. I guess I'm just butterfingers, but um, it took me a minute to figure out how to open these and I was trying to do that with the big one and it just broke all over the floor so I felt really bad for that. And yeah, so I did break one, the one I really wanted, but I got these two littler ones which I thought were great too. You can store lots of different things in these, like the really endless you could do garlic you could do little like home dec like home decor stuff but i want to make sure that it's functional too so i'm definitely going to be storing something in these but these are beautiful you could tell it's about to be that spring season because everyone around my house is sneezing i just sneezes everywhere but yeah these little crocs are oh you hear it these little crocs are just adorable so two of those and i'm probably going to put those in my kitchen somewhere all right another really good find if i can open these are these really cute little vintage dolls let's see if i can open them they're gonna be for my daughter they seal it so weird they like tape it let's see these were at 3.99 for four little dolls and i don't know if it was originally like a home decor situation oh they have it taped so good I got them open. They are so cute. I think they're originally little ornaments, but it's so funny because they were in the kids section. So I thought they were little toys, but they are going to be toys now. They are so cute. I love their little dresses. They're adorable. And I love, I just love the dresses and the patterns. And I think my daughter's going to have a lot of fun with these. And they have like these little berry i think they're supposed to be wings on the back i don't know but i just thought they were cute i thought but yeah i think my daughter's really gonna enjoy these and their cute little faces they're just so cute they are so cute and i think she's really gonna enjoy these so yeah i think she will really enjoy these cute little dolls for her little play 
house and she'll take care of them too because she's actually really gentle for a little a little kid my son is really rough though but she's really gentle so i think she will really enjoy these and she's really in a cute little doll phase and she loves playing with her little doll house and stuff so i think she will really enjoy that oh then something else that i got is actually not here in this room but i got my son these little army men classic little army men they're actually in the other room and he's playing with them right now in his playroom so i don't have those here to show you but that's what i got her and he got the army men actually i got the dolls because my son's birthday is coming up and we got him some really simple gifts and i just wanted to have something for her because she's still they're still really young and at that age where you cannot just give one kid gifts a whole bunch of gifts for their birthday and then they get nothing and though it's like a huge thing you got you moms know you know if you have little kids so that's what i'm doing with that is giving her those so she doesn't feel left out because of course i don't want her to be sad so do what you have to do as moms right okay so then i got these really cute i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with these but i know i will find a purpose something in the kitchen these were seven 47 let's go on senior day and check your local thrift stores to see if you guys have a senior day because you get a good percentage off so it makes thrifting that much more enjoyable to know you get even more deals sorry these are like sliding everywhere they have them taped though but i think these are like little what would you call these little casserole dishes or something but they are really nice and I like this set and you can have all kinds of different fun things shepherd's pie you can make little individual pies you can make a lot of stuff in these so I thought this would be really nice to have on hand for when we're entertaining or just want to have something kind of special we'll be using these little dishes so this is fun and you don't have to even just you could bake of course in them but you can also serve in them too which is really nice one more thing in kitchenware Oh, it has the cute little comic book newspaper. So cute. That's very nostalgic. This was $3.99 and this is a bread loaf pan. I really needed another one. I've been using, again, back to my dollar store. <laughs> my dollar store one for a while and I just thought... So I've been using my dollar store one for a really long time and I just thought it was time to finally upgrade from the little tin one that I had. Nothing really wrong with it, but I do worry about like what's in the aluminum when I'm baking because we are always trying to be as non-toxic as possible and I only line it once like the long ways when I'm making sourdough loaf bread and I don't know, I just like bugs me that I don't, you know, it's cheap and it makes me just kind of nervous. So $3.99 I spent on this really nice loaf pan. I thought that was not bad at all and she is so cute. It's a shorter one. So the loaves will be a little bit smaller, but honestly, it doesn't matter. It'll still like dome really nicely and you'll have a really nice size bread. So I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait to bake in this. It's gorgeous and it's kind of like a crock material. Like it's porcelain, but then under here it has like that kind of, has kind of that like crock feel to it. I'm so excited to bake in this. So this was $4.94 and this is a beautiful rose picture and it's it's gorgeous honestly but I don't know if I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the picture and maybe do something else with it but I'm really in love with the frame I'm not gonna lie I bought it with the I bought it for the frame and this was $4.94 so I love this but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet I mean it's beautiful honestly the way it is so I really might just keep it however I'm not a huge fan of pink and it's a lot more pink in person than on camera definitely way more pink in person but it's it's really pretty and not to mention they're doing some kind of construction thing outside so sorry if you hear them now hello i'm filming a video don't they know no just kidding the world doesn't revolve around me i know that anyways nevertheless this is gorgeous so i'm not sure keep it the same or the last thing that i thrifted that's really random is this loofah i always love loofahs for the bath and it came in this packaging so it's brand new and i can't wait to use this so that's the last item that i really thrifted oh there's actually one more Okay, so the loofah wasn't actually, <laughs> the loofah actually wasn't the last, last item that I thrifted, but she really wanted to come in here and show you guys her dress. Um, she was outside and she really wanted to include this in because she knows that I thrifted this. It's this beautiful, we're calling it a princess dress. It's so pretty, Mama, I love it. Do you like it? 
you like it so she's been wanting like a dress she's been wanting like a dress up princess dress and we were gonna go with Belle or something Disney but I really didn't want to support Disney if you know you know I just don't I don't know I just uh, Disney is a whole other thing whole other topic so I went with something classic and antique and it's a gorgeous little absolutely gorgeous and it has a little flower that needs to kind of be ironed out but she loves it and she has been wearing it even wore it to bed one night so that is it for this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Let me know what your favorite item is down below that I thrifted or something that you thrifted. I would love to know. I love hearing your guys' thrift stories and your thrift finds. And I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today and coming to thrift all these beautiful, wonderful pieces. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.